Formula for Ionic Compounds, page 33 in your book. We will learn how to write a formula for ionic compounds. The need for equal numbers of pluses and minuses is a main characteristic in ionic compounds because they are neutral. So the total positive charge should be equal to the total negative charge. Ions are atoms or group of atoms that carry an electrical charge, either positive or negative. So what are ions? They're atoms or group of atoms, but they carry an electrical charge. This charge can be either positive or negative. Compounds are electrically neutral. And this is why the need for equal numbers of pluses and minuses is important. We will learn about cases where you can work out the number of charges on an ion. Consider Table 5.1, which shows you the number of charges on an ion in groups 1 to 7. It's better to memorize this table to make your work easier. For example, elements of group number 1 have a charge on ion of plus 1. Elements of group 2 have a charge of plus 2. And we will discuss these in later videos. In some cases, the name gives you the charge. For example, lead to oxide. Notice this 2 in Roman number. It means that lead has a charge of 2 plus in this compound and therefore Pb2 plus iron. Iron 3 chloride means that iron has a charge of 3 plus. Table 5.2 shows you charges on ions that are common in chemistry. So, we are going to learn how to write the formula for ionic compounds and that is pages 33 and 34 of your book.